Hi everyone and welcome to our new topic which is all about the importance of good uh, UX or it means user experience and UI user interface in product management. First is the significance of UX and UI. User experience and user interface design are not aesthetic considerations. They are crucial elements that significantly impact the success of a product. So, dito kasi guys, sa uh, user experience and user interface, ito yung parang mas uh, deeper consideration kung saan inaalam natin ano ba yung mas magbibigay ng satisfaction sa ating target market relative to their needs and wants. Sabi din dito, a positive user experience is the foundation of user satisfaction, engagement, and ultimately the overall success of a product in the market. So, normally class, no, talagang important itong positive user experience kasi once na maganda yung experience ng mga customers towards your products or services, then it will lead to user satisfaction. And eventually, no, once na nasa satisfy siya, ay possible then na ma-uplift ito to engagement, which is doon na nagkakaroon ng attachment si customer doon sa product and services mo which will lead to customer loyalty and repeat business. Well-designed user interfaces contribute to increase user adoption and retention, fostering positive perception of the product. So, importante class na yun nga, yung kung dati, no, hindi nila ginagamit yung product, parang na-adapt nila, it becomes a habit na. Diba? At doon, syempre, nare-retain natin yung customers to repeat buying the product of or services na uh, in-offer natin. And at the same time, no, nagkikreate din siya ng magandang image. No? Kasi dito, sabi, positive perception of the product. Nagkikreate siya ng magandang brand image, which is a good connotation. No? Nang sa ganun ay ma-refer niya yung product to his peers, to his family, to his loved ones. So, maganda yung ano, maganda yung impact. So, we have key points and user satisfaction. So, here, no, good uh, UX and UI ensures that users can easily and intuitively interact with the product, leading to higher level of satisfaction. Another one is engagement. A well-designed interface captivates users, encouraging them to explore and interact with the product more frequently. And at the same time, market success in an increasingly competitive market, products with superior UX and UI often stand out and gain a competitive advantage. So, kagaya na sinabi natin kanina, malaking bagay talaga yung magandang UX and UI kasi nga, it will lead to good customer user satisfaction, engagement, at market success. Um, example is the Apple no? and or Google's Gmail. So, their widespread adoption can be attributed not only to their functionality, but also to the seamless and enjoyable user experience they offer. Kasi nga, no, pag ginagamit natin yung iPhone, ginagamit natin yung Gmail, um, maganda yung functions niya. Tapos kaya alam mo, yun yung mas napapagaan niya yung buhay natin, it give more convenience, it, it uh, helps to uh, enhance uh, communication. So, doon, no? yun yung maganda example ng magandang UX and Collaborating with design teams. So why collaboration matters? First is the shared vision and goals. Collaborating closely with design teams ensures that both product managers and designers share a common vision and goals for the product. This alignment is crucial for creating a cohesive user experience. So dapat dun sa team, no? alam nila yung vision and goals ng company and ng product. Nang sa ganun ay Nasa isang direction sila. Cross-functional understanding. Effective collaboration encourage cross-functional understanding between product management and design teams. The shared knowledge facilitates smoother communication and breaks down silos that can improve progress. Yung silos kasi is something uh, related to barriers or can lead to conflicts, no? Since there are times that product managers or the 
team product management might have some conflicting ideas with the design team. And of course, fostering creativity and innovation. When different perspectives come together, it sparks creativity and innovation. The synergy between product managers and designers often leads to novel solutions that address both functional and design requirements. Of course, no, yung function kasi normally, no, uh, it is more of internal while the design is more of the external. So they try to collaborate ng sa ganon ay mas maging creative at innovative yung product na iyo offer natin. So sabi nga dito, no, communication as a key component. Uh, communication is a glue that holds collaborative effort together. Regular meetings, brainstorming sessions, and an open dialogue channel foster an environment where ideas can be shared, refined, and implemented seamlessly. So, napaka-importante class na communication kasi nga, uh, we need to have uh, teamwork, no, collaborative efforts. Kasi sa ganun ay magkaroon tayo ng mas magandang idea. So, for the example, think about successful products like the uh, Tesla Model S. No? Uh, the seamless integration of cutting-edge technology and an aesthetically pleasing interior is a result of effective collaboration between engineering, product management, and design teams. So, yung kanilang Tesla model, hindi lang maganda sa loob, pati sa labas, pati yung technology no, na gumagamit siya ng electricity na uh, energy for running a car is something talaga na innovative. Usability testing and feedback. So, why usability testing? No? So, number one is practicality and ease of use. Uh, usability testing is essential to evaluate how practical and user-friendly a product is in real-world scenarios, it helps identify potential challenges users might face during interaction. So, dito sa practicality and ease of use, dapat is yung product natin is user-friendly. Kasi pag hindi siya user-friendly, uh, possible is nagkakaroon nga ng mga challenges yung customers na hirap siyang gamitin. Or possible that the functions intended for this product are not working. Are not working. Identifying pain points. Through testing, we could pinpoint specific pain points in the user journey. This information is invaluable for making targeted improvements that enhance the overall user experience. So, yung pain points, ito yung mga nagpwedeng malfunctioning or mga uh, inconvenience na naranasan ni users when using the product or service. So, pag nalaman natin itong pain points na ito, ito yung magiging targeted improvement na sa ganun ay mas ma-improve natin yung user experience. Continuous improvement. Usability testing establishes a foundation for continuous improvement. By gathering feedback and insights, product teams can iterate on the design to align more closely with user expectation. So, dito is kailangan consistent tayo sa pag-improve nang sa ganun ay mas, ano nyo yun, mas um, magkaroon ng uh, achievement no in terms of meeting the user expectation. Dapat yung feedbacking, yung insights ay laging na bibigay sa product team. Nang sa ganun ay talaga mas ma-improve nila yung design and yung function nito, itong product na to, to have uh, to have or to meet rather the user expectation. User feedback loop. So creating feedback loop is crucial for refining the product. Regularly collecting and analyzing feedback ensures that design decisions are data driven and align with user preference. So normally dun sa feedback loop is yun nga, no, uh, nakakaroon ng more data no, tayo which is aligned with user preferences, which also leads to design decisions. Kung may babaguhin ba tayo sa design, kung may improve ba tayo, kung we're going to stop this kind of functions, so etc. Methods of usability testing. 
first is in-person testing. Observing users in a controlled environment provides valuable insights into their, into their interaction and challenges. Sabihin na natin, no, kukuha sila ng mga random people sa labas, then dadalhin nila dun sa company, and then they will be, or they will let, no, that random person use the product and, uh, you know, get insights from using the product. Remote testing, conducting usability tests remotely, allows a broader and diverse user pool reflecting a more realistic usage scenario. So remote testing is uh, we try to select different locations, different places, and we try to see if the functions of that product are working. Surveys and analytics. Utilizing surveys and analytic tools helps, helps gather quantitative data complementing qualitative insight obtained from direct testing. So, kumbaga, kung after the testing, no, pwede tayong magkaroon uh, ng surveys pa, lang sa ganun ay magkaroon tayo ng additional quantitative data, tapos i-relate natin doon sa qualitative insight ng mga respondents natin. Illustrative example, consider the evolution of platforms like Facebooks, Usability testing and user feedback have a played significant role in refining features, layouts, and overall user experience over the years. So, yung Facebook talaga is a best example of evolution kasi talaga nakita natin yung improvement dun sa messenger, dun sa layout niya, no? and dun sa features, uh, nandun yung Facebook marketplace, nandun yung uh, meta. So, talaga makikita natin na ano, nag-improve. Iterative design processes, the continuous improvement cycle, build, test, learn mindset. Iterative design involves a cycle of building a version of the product, testing it with the users, and learning from their feedback. This mindset promotes adaptability and responsiveness to user needs. So here, dapat is ibibuild natin, test natin, at you will, we will learn if there could be some improvement to be done. No? Constant re-evaluation Successful products are the results of constant re-evaluation Regularly reassess design elements, features, and overall user flows based on user feedback Technological advancement and changing market dynamics So dapat no, consistently or constantly re-evaluate natin yung product Even though uh, dun sa initial testing, okay siya. Dun sa initial evaluation is positive yung feedback ng customers. But then, we have to take to into consideration that possible that there could be some changing market dynamics. Pwede nag na yung preference ng customers or possible na may mga technological advancement na mas hinahanap na si customers. Agile methodology. Embracing an agile methodology is often synonymous with iterative design, agile principles such as short development cycles and continuous feedback align seamlessly with iterative design approach to design. So, this agile methodology must nagiging uh, uh, parang effective yung isang product dahil nga mayroon tayo tinatawag na short development cycles kung saan uh, kung may mga innate demand no, or biglang calculating demand, then we could be able to fastly generate a certain product to cope up with that kind of demand. So, benefits of iterative design. First is flexibility. Iterative design allows the for flexibility and agility and responding to evolving user requirements and market trends. So dahil nga sa iterative design, mas nagiging flexible yung paggawa at pag-design ng mga product team and design team. Risk reduction. By testing and refining it in smaller cycles, the risk of investing heavily in features that don't resonate with users is significantly reduced. Siyempre, kung tayo ay magmamas produce ng product and suddenly, may mga problema pala or it's not the preferred user preference or it's not the user preference, then mas malaking uh, gastos or financial burden ang mangyayari. 
continuous user involvement. Users become active participants in the design process. Their insights guide the direction of the product, ensuring it remains user-centric. So, example is the mobile operating system like the iOS and the Android. So, regular updates and nangyayari and feature enhancement are a testament to the iterative design approach, keeping these platforms relevant and user-friendly. So, nakikita naman natin na regularly nag update yung mga iOS and Android and talaga nakikita natin yung enhancement dun sa features na ino-offer nila. Design thinking principles. So, key components of design thinking. First is empathy. Understanding the needs, motivations, and frustration of users is the first step. Empathy ensures that design decisions are rooted in a genuine understanding of the user perspective. So, dapat we have to put ourselves on the shoe of the customer. So, dapat, no? Uh, genuinely, naiintindihan natin sila at talagang we try not just to focus on lessening the expenses but also to maximize the value of money that they spend for the product or services that we offer. Next is ideation. Encouraging creative brainstorming and brainstorming rather leads to multitude of ideas. Ideation involves exploring various solution without immediate judgment fostering innovation and novel approaches. The next one is prototyping. Transforming ideas into tangible prototypes allows for quick testing and validation. Prototypes provide a tangible representation of concept, uh, facilitating feedback from users and stakeholders. So importante na from ideation is magkaroon tayo ng prototype para makita natin kung realistic pa yung idea na yun. And then, of course, testing. Design thinking involves continuous testing and iteration. By putting prototypes in the hands of users early in the process, teams can gather valuable insights and refine the design accordingly. So, dapat talaga is tinetest natin yung product kasi sa mas maagang uh, time, no, ay kaya pa natin i-improve. No? Yung teams, no, kaya pa pang improve yung design. So, of course, we have human-centered problem solving. It's a design thinking place, the user, at the center of the problem solving process. Acknowledging that successful design must address both functional and emotional aspect of user experience. So, akala natin no, na yung isang product is nagugustuhan lang ng customer based on the function. But of course, we have to also include the emotional aspects Kasi nga, no, paano ba natin mas papapasaya? Paano ba natin mas uh, may, may engage your customers in using the product? Holistic, holistic perspective. Design thinking encourages a holistic approach, considering not only the immediate problem, but also the broader context and impact on the user's life. This comprehensive viewpoint leads to solution that resonates on a deeper level. So, dapat, no, when we are trying to create a product, it should be holistic, no? Kung baga, hindi lang natin ina-address yung mga immediate problem, but also yung long-term, no? That will have an impact on the user's life. Illustrative example, the success of companies like Airbnb is attributed to their application of design thinking principle. By understanding the needs and emotion of users when traveling, Airbnb created a platform that goes beyond accommodation, providing unique and personalized experience. So, yung Airbnb, no, for example, doon sa mga nagtatravel sa iba't ibang bansa. So, syempre, they want, number one, more affordable place to stay. At, uh, syempre, they want convenience, no, in terms of the booking process. So, it could be some of the design and features related to Airbnb na yung convenience, yung pagkakaroon ng budget-friendly uh, accommodation is really one of the key features of Airbnb. So that would be all and thank you so much.